Welcome back to 30 Days of Lightroom. We are here in Lightroom Classic. I am JT, and in this video, we are talking about smart previews. So if you're like me, I have dozens of hard drives filled up with thousands of photos, and they are scattered all over the place, and my photos are scattered all over the place because our hard drives on our computers are limited, so we have to store those photos in other places. Well, when I wanna go back and edit those photos, sometimes it's difficult to find the proper hard drive to link to Lightroom, and as you can imagine, that can be a complicated mess. So, this is where Smart Previews comes in handy. As you can see over here on the right, we have an original image, and we have also created a smart preview. Now, what exactly is a smart preview? Well, a smart preview is just a highly compressed raw file based off of your original raw file. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this image right here. And let's open it in Finder. And let's look at the info for this image. This is a 94 megabyte HDR file. We'll go ahead and close that, close our finder window, and let's look at our smart preview. This smart preview is 15 megabytes. This is why you wanna use smart previews when you're editing and you have files in all sorts of locations and you wanna edit quickly and efficiently. We just turned a 94 megabyte file into a 15 megabyte file, just a fraction of the size, and we can still edit that file even if our hard drive with the original file is not connected. So what's cool about smart previews and how they work is Lightroom creates a compressed file based on your original raw file. It creates a compressed DNG or digital negative file at a fraction of the size and stores it within your Lightroom catalog on your hard drive. So you can make edits to your smart preview and as soon as you plug that hard drive back in, it will sync those settings. So let's talk about the two ways to make smart previews. The first way is on import. So if I hit file, import photos and video, I can go ahead and select this photo that I wanna import and I can go over to the right and click build smart previews and Lightroom will automatically build those previews as your photos import. Now we have a couple options for smart previews up at the top here. We have minimal, embedded and sidecar, standard, and one-to-one. -one. These are just your resolution options of your smart preview. Minimal will be your lowest resolution, and then embedded will be a little bit larger. Standard is typically what I choose, and one-to-one -one will be your largest resolution, and of course the largest file size of your smart preview but typically standard works in most cases. You can go ahead and test all of these for yourself to see which works best for you. And you can change the settings for your smart preview builds if you go to Lightroom Classic, Catalog Settings, and within Catalog Settings, select File Handling. And you can see here you have different options for discarding your previews after a certain amount of time, the quality of your previews, and you can change your standard preview size. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that, but just know you have those options. So again, I like to select standard, and then I can go ahead, select all of the rest of my import settings that I typically have. And don't forget to watch our import video where we go really in depth on how to import your photos and all of the options you have. So this looks good, I'm gonna hit import, and we have imported our smart previews. And you can see here, we have smart previews that were already built for these files. I'm gonna hit okay. And we can go ahead and edit our photos. And you can see over here to the right below our histogram, you can see we have our original photo and our smart preview. Now, if I were to disconnect the hard drive that has the original raw photo, you would just see a little thing that says smart preview down here below your histogram. And I can make edits to that smart preview just like a raw file while that original file is offline. So let's take a look at another way to create smart previews. All right, we are back in our library module. And if we would like to build smart previews based on photos that we've already imported, we can go up to library, select previews, 
and select Build Smart Previews. We also have the option of discarding previews out of our cache right here as well, but we can select Build Smart Previews and Lightroom will ask us if we would like to build a single smart preview out of the one photo we selected or all of the photos and we just want to build one. So Lightroom quickly built that smart preview. We can hit OK and again now we have original and smart preview and we have four smart previews that are only 19 megabytes. That is ridiculously small and again that is stored in your catalog on your computer's hard drive. So smart previews again are awesome for keeping your file sizes small and being able to edit photos that are not currently attached to Lightroom. For example, if they're sitting on a hard drive in another location. That is why I absolutely love smart previews. So give smart previews a try. If you learned something in this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more photography tips, tricks, and hacks. And until next time, get out and go shoot.